Hello, hello, guys. So uh, it seems there was a little issue with the sun in the first video, so I just unplugged all the cables and I'll use the basic computer mic for this one. So June 7th update details. Uh, in fast version, great light goalkeeper for PvE, shitty boss striker, new minions love lifey, Xing evolution, not as great as we hoped, another collab thing, this time it's for the music, we can get 11 tracks, some cool skins, uh, little changes to Vermilion Bird and Lukia that are buffs, clearly buffs, and an increase the, from the BP from 60 to 100, and now you need rank 180 to max it out. It's more for end game people that were complaining, and I do agree the BP limit was too low. Now let's get started. So, Alexa, aka my new PvE goalkeeper, the man I get her. Why? Well, let's go in detail. First, Ace, increased pass effect and max life of light players. Pretty good, no big issue there. It has a lot of value, especially if you're mono, but you could use it in burst. I personally am not planning to use it, but it's fine. Forward pass. Recover the designated target player's action bar by 30%, max life by 30%, and attack power by 30%. Meaning you can pass it to a passer, you can pass it to an attacker. There's no loss, aka passing it to Duke. We know what I'm talking about. But yeah, pretty good. The value should go up by 10%. Nothing problematic here. Uh, then we're going to talk about passive 1. Decrease incoming damage by 20%. Increase defense by 20% for 5 minutes when the enemy currently in the assigned position receives a pass. Accumulates up to 3 times. Now this right here is already one of the reasons why in PvP it's not that great. Because you need the people to make free passes for this to stack. Now again, end game when people are fast as hell, it's not that bad. But for mid to end level... It's already not that great for two reasons. One, in mid-level, well, getting the ball five, free passes in five minutes is actually hard for some people. So you're not going to have it maxed out. And in end game, well, when they forward, they shoot. Meaning you might only have one stack, which means you're going to get destroyed on the first shot. And this is one-hit KO bait. And then the next skill is even more one-hit KO bait. Uh, recover 30% spirit and 50% of the incoming damage when being attacked with a shot. A little shout out to, to Potato uh, Z, who's on the forums, who was trying to use Eric as a goalkeeper. It's kind of the same idea. Um, it's good in the sense that you get Spirit, who's one of the most important things a uh, goalkeeper can get, especially when they got an active pass when facing stuff like Curran. But it's also a little bit problematic because it's 50% of the damage later. So instead of decreasing the damage, let's say you get shot for 1,000, you take 1,000 damage, and then you heal 500. Now, if you're dead, well, you're dead. So that's where the problem happens. Uh, yeah, then they basically explain it. Uh, Pride of Night. Pretty much, we know this was going to be buffed at the E, max life 25, critical resistance 25. That's honestly atrocious. On top of it, locked in goalkeeper position. Please, lock better skills. Also, I don't like the fact you're locking stuff because people realize that Jin was a better totem than goalkeeper, and he still is. Yeah, I don't care about developer comments. They're pretty much funny. Um, now we have the sub chain, so this is the reverse version, meaning it's not her chains, uh, it's who gets chains with her. Now, first of all, I want to point out that it's disgusting that it's only one light player, but you know, I've kind of given up on BB after all these years, and the new chain revamp just makes it even worse. So, love Tyler, Bandelume, you shouldn't be using any of those, Friendship Zenlong, you shouldn't be using any of those, Galf, maybe? I, I don't know why you'd have her and Galf together, though, but light ardor not efficient she doesn't have the dr and galf combined is really bad but okay garrett no han Yan, no robin well it's he hates her i mean if you're bad in low league it's valuable okay so one chain maybe that's not great celine now i don't like the art that much but you know it's why not so striker pass effect attack power 45 percent active it's a shot that decreases the remaining life, meaning it's really not that great, 20%, and attack power, 30% uh, of the target's remaining attack power. It means if you have anything that lowers someone's attack power, it's really bad. But people who use that Ardor um, Lifestone are going to be countered by this because it's going to help her a little bit. Now, it doesn't mean she's worth anything. Passive 1, increase crit rate and receive pass effect, 30%, that's fine. Um, inflict 35% additional damage to goalkeeper. She's a 5-star. Why is it not 50%? And attack formation, increase attack power within the position 15%. I mean, I mean that's just insulting. That's a NOAA level skill. Celine's one with blah, blah, blah. We don't really care. I don't know how they... 
yeah, just just stop talking, people. Uh, Celine, so Sue, Lemmy, Ardor, Ardor, competition. I, I'd like to point out the only light player is Neath, and he's like a COD helper. That's that's again very insulting, but you know, Wormwind gets more chains of our players than Light does. Thank you for understanding the point of Mono. Um, love Sue, Lemmy, we don't care. Competition, Lagai, New Neath. I mean, Lagai maybe. I don't even think that's how it's pronounced, but you know. Fighting Spirit, Curran, Vayne, I, it's never going to activate. Uh, minions, love life jokes have already been made. My friend finds them super cute. Why not? Uh, Xing, he got an EE, active buffed by 10% on both parts. And he got a uh, change in his skill. It's a small buff, but it's still a buff if you do the math correctly. Um... Pretty much, he got uh, better DR, better reflex, and he actually got attack power while well, being a passer, uh, who's going to be uh, pretty cool. Actually, he's not even a passer. Yeah, yeah but He's got some nice DR value, some nice reflex, some nice attack power, and on 5 stack, he's getting really close to Duke's value, so it's pretty cool. Uh, now, on a line buff level, that doesn't really solve anything, but hey, why not? Uh, limit manager, I know has been added to the game. Uh, active, get 24,000 gold. Now, this is what's really cool. Anti-Christ system. Change the background music that the guilt to the that of the Guilty Gear series upon entering all matches. One mu music will be offered at start, and two music will be added for each super power-up. That makes a total of 11 if I'm good in math. I hope so. I'm in business. So, yeah, 11 uh, power-ups, meaning, well, 11 musics. I mean... I wish this wasn't a manager and this was something else that I could even crystal buy. Because, like, I don't want to give one of my manager slots to someone just for music when I can get stats, go. I don't even know what manager slot she takes, but it's already... I can't think of a single one I would give her. Who's the problem? Um, blah, blah, blah. But I honestly do love the collab idea. And adding music is really cool. Just please give us a better way. Like, give us the option to, like, equip her in the, the manager skin select in the front page, and that activates her skill if we own her and we've maxed her. That would be nice. Uh, premium skins. So we got Electric Fairy Nikita. No one uses that, but the skin's really good. And, oh, oh, come on, look at this skin. You can't say you don't like it. it it's really great. I mean, I like the player, but the skin's epic. Now, new character stories have been added to the game. Of course, you have to do it right after I've completed her last chain, and I can't complain anyone else's chain in this list. Oh, don't even talk about Vonchi. I mean, you swear to God, you thought he was an art or a legend. Knowing how many artists he's got there. Uh, now, draws. Those are some really bad draws, to be honest. Uh, first week, we have Victoria, Xing, Lukia, Alexa, Garrett, Jin, and Felix. So, like, if you're going for Felix, do it. Do not get Jin. It's really not worth it. Um, Rainbow for Victoria, but you can scout her, to be honest. And Alexa, if you're light, but the thing is, if you're light, you don't want this week. You want the next week. So it's, again, like, kind of going to tear you apart. Uh, I might actually just do this week because I don't care about the following one, though. Uh, the following characters will have a greatly increased chance of being drawn the weekend event on June 16 to 17. Kyosuke, Ardor people could like him. It depends how you run it. Vermilion Bird, don't, don't spend crystals for that. Nikita, don't spend crystals. Hero. If you're desperate against Presties, I guess. G, no. I know I know Xdialer will not be happy, but you know. Then we got Duke and Jibril. Now, those are pretty much very strong and light, and they're pretty cool for PvE content. They're worth trying to get. I already own one, and I don't want the other one, so I'm good. Uh, featured improvements. Lua is classic star. We don't care. Celine's batch has been added with a new minion, so we know that's what next. I'm really hoping there's going to be some good XP minions, because I'm starting to have, like, uh, I think I have 200 four-star minions. I'd like to turn them in six-star mats, you know? BP increased. Um, I just hope that it's not something that you have to get to 150 to get to 60, and then the last 30 ranks give you two every time, or something close to that, because that would just be painful and annoying. But, you know, we'll see how BP does it. Yeah, we agree. New modes have been added. We need Yes, we, we've done, like, 100 posts on this, and BB finally realized that we were mad. Balancing. Vermilion Bird buff. Now, instead of an action... Or when being attacked. Okay, this is just going to be really annoying in PvE, but, you know, I guess you have to make it, you know. Lukia, uh, decrease inflicted damage for each defense with a penetration, recover spirit, and decrease incoming damage by 25 for each target with an attack. Honestly, this is much better. 
but like again, PV is going to be annoying and most people don't run her, but honestly, it's a nice buff. I say she deserves it. Uh, bugs fixes. So some problems with the points, some problem with achievements of Cosmic Infinity not doing them, uh, compensation for Golder Infinity, uh, not being able to achieve chains with William and Noah, ranking problems Infinity. I mean, I was first when I won one match and then I won a second and I was last. It's, it's kind of weird. Um, I did, though, get an insane amount of crystals for Infinity. For some reason, I thought I was top five at some point. I mean, I wish I was, but I wasn't. I'll take the rewards. Uh, fix tip. Yeah, we don't care about those. Gave out reward for crystal package. I wasn't given out properly due to error. Some people didn't get them. Some people got the wrong amount like me. I'm hoping that's what it fixes. If it doesn't, I'm just going to be contacting support. Again, uh, modified tool tip text for fighting spirit chain. Well, they changed them, so yeah. Uh, fix an issue the match not getting canceled when your user changes server after requesting the Galaxy Live match. Okay. And then this is the total exploit that people were doing, that if you use the pick ticket, it would give you sometimes a 7-star. I mean, we don't really regret it being there, but yeah, they're, they're taking them back. Uh, I, I understand it. So yeah, pretty much fast version. Xing, a bit better. We got a new boss, and we got a PV goalkeeper who I just think is going to be marvelous to use, and I will try to get her as soon as I can. So have a good day, guys, and hopefully the sound works this time. <laughs>